Well, Imam al-Jazuli said, there's four types of speech. Harmful speech, haram. Speech that has benefit and harm, haram. Speech that has neither benefit nor harm, makru. To speak a lot of it. And then speech that's beneficial. So three-fourths of all speech is really of, of either no benefit or harmful. Three-fourths. So what we're speaking on average, three-fourths of it is total waste of time. And for a lot of people, nine-tenths. And for some people, a hundred percent. Imam Madik said, what a good man, except he speaks, he speaks, He's a good man, except he speaks a month's worth of talk in one day. Right? Thartharun, Tharthara. The Prophet ﷺ said, the furthest of you on the Yom Qiyamah are the Thartharun, just talkative people. The Prophet ﷺ said, Man samata naja. If you're silent, you'll be safe. The Prophet ﷺ said, Asamtu hikmatun wa qalilun fa'iluhu. Silence is wisdom and how few people practice it. Right? I mean, there's people, they're silent people and people think, you know, what's wrong with him? Those are the intelligent people. Those are the people you should spend time with. You can just sit there and just do dhikr together or something. You don't need to. People don't need to talk. And one of the things, particularly in Western culture, in, in Asian culture, silence is actually really appreciated. So Asian people can sit together and not say anything. And it's not, whereas in, in the Western culture, it becomes uncomfortable because Western people don't know to, to, what to do with silence. They don't. They start getting really uncomfortable. So maybe somebody should say something. Kufa alayka hadha. The Prophet ﷺ, one man said to him, Mada akhufu ma takhafu alayya ya Rasulullah. What's the thing you fear most for me, O Messenger of Allah? Fa akhada bi lisani nafsihi. He took his tongue. And then it says, Thumma qal. Thumma means there's some time elapsed. So the Prophet ﷺ was silent for some time. Because he didn't say faqala. He said thumma qal. Hada. This. He took his tongue and he said this. That's the thing I fear most for you. So, that's basically what he's telling. Uh, one of the most commonly quoted uh, poems traditionally, not poems but couplet. لقاء الناس ليس يفيد شيئا سوى الهذيان من قيل وقال فأقل من لقاء الناس إلا لأخذ علم أو إصلاح حالي. That meeting people, لقاء الناس doesn't benefit you. Just meeting people, other than just talkativeness and gossip. قيل وقال كره الله لكم قيل وقال أثر السؤال وإضاعة المال. Allah سبحانه وتعالى detests for you gossip, too many questions. And wasting your money. And so he's saying basically, uh, you know, that the only aqlil, aqlil min liqa'an nasi illa li akhdi ilman aw islahi hali. To take knowledge or to rectify your state. Now this is why traditionally these people, what they did was they created environments where people could come together and fulfill the human need of being together, but they did it in ways that would protect themselves from themselves. And so they did dhikr of Allah. 